Hi friends, I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today you should probably get a snack and a drink and get settled in or get ready to work out. I know um, my friend Crystal um, watches, tends to watch my videos when she's working out, so maybe you do that too. Let me know if you do. Um, and yeah, just get settled in because this is a little bit of a long one. It's about I want to say 35 minutes with screenshots, um, so we're going to get cozy. And I haven't done a voiceover in a little while, so if I mumble a lot or ramble a lot, uh, you know why. Um, I've had a lot going on. <laughs> I've had a lot going on. Um, I am going to go ahead and get um, my update out of the way before we start talking about this build. Um, I will be having a surgery um, in the beginning of August. So things are going to be a little off for the next couple months um, while I have all the pre-testing done and everything uh, figured out and then recover from surgery. Um, my surgery is on August 3rd, so I pretty much will be gone for most of August. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that. Um, I have been trying to stream some more over on my Twitch. You can find the link down below. Um, and we've been playing mostly Minecraft, but I, I have some sim stuff I want to work on. But let's get into this build before we talk about anything else. Today we are building a big old suburban home. It is a, no, maybe not big, it's like a neutral size. It's not small, it's not big, it just kind of is. And it is a three bedroom, two bathroom house. It has a little bit of a strange floor plan upstairs, but I think it worked out in the end. I think the way I decorated it really made it feel less strange. Before I decorated it, it felt weird like the floor plan felt odd but after I decorated it I think it turned out okay and I think that you're gonna like it I hope so this is a suburban house for a librarian who has one child in my head this is a single mom who works as a librarian I do think that tragically I think she was married and had a husband and I think he passed away um, in you know in the storyline in my head and she has one child and they live here by themselves, just the two of them. And I think that they are the best of friends. And I just, I really, I love them and I love this house and I hope that you like it too. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So both bedroom, two bedrooms upstairs and then technically another bedroom downstairs, but it is an office. And then there's a bathroom downstairs and a laundry room and of course a kitchen and a big living room with so many bookshelves in the living room and the hallways and the office just bookshelves everywhere <laughs> there's so many bookshelves I built this after the new book nook kit came out I built this uh, like a week or two after um, I was taking a little hiatus uh, for a couple weeks you may have noticed I didn't upload um, and that was because I've been getting this health stuff figured out um, and now we have a plan so hopefully after August things will be better. <laughs> um, if you would like to know what's going on, you can check out my Twitter, which is linked down below. Uh, I've been talking about it over there, but I don't really want to bring down the video by talking about it. Um, but everything's okay. <laughs> We're just going to be taking August off of videos and streams and uh, really posting so that I can, can take care of my health and get this figured out. Um, and yeah, it should it should be okay. So here we are working on the floor plan. I cut out a lot of it because I struggled for a minute trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And originally I thought I was gonna go for, sorry, I had to pause and yawn. Originally I thought I was going to go for kind of like white woods and like lighter tones in this house. But then when I got on the inside, I just wasn't feeling it. We do change the fence that's upstairs I just it's a temporary fence so we end up going with these um, kind of darkish medium tone wood floors and these counters that match from base game um, and I do start off putting the like an L shape on both corners but then we make this um, be a smaller windows on in this room we get some smaller windows so that the, you could fit some cabinets above them um, we get a little island with some seats on it and that's where they eat. There's no like dining table in this house except there is a picnic bench outside in the yard. Uh, so maybe they eat out there a lot and then otherwise they eat at the bar. And uh, I just, I really, 
kind of picture the Sims as kind of like the kind of relationship that Lorelai and Rory have at Gilmore Girls maybe like they're really close and they do a lot together and I think that they are both just super intelligent people and really just love learning sorry I keep having to pause to yawn I do have narcolepsy um, and I'm kind of having a sleep spell right now, so I keep having to pause to yawn, but I don't have time to to sit here and sleep for a minute because I have to get this voiceover done before my husband gets home. <laughs> he should be home soon. So uh, I don't have time to stop and nap. So we're just going to power through. And I'm sorry if there's a bunch of clips of me yawning um, or like cutoffs where I'm yawning. Um, but yeah, so I think that they are the best of friends and they spend a lot of time together. Um, and I think that they just both really love books and learning and uh, obtaining new knowledge and just, they just really love life. I think that they have been healing really well from the loss of, you know, the member of their family. And I just really love them so much. And I love this house and I really want to make these Sims and play with them in this house because I, I feel like it kinship with them like there's so, I just love them um, so I will let you know that there are a couple of odd things about this house um, one of them being that sometimes things clip through the roof uh, if you have your camera angle down really low and you're looking kind of up into the roof you can tell that it kind of clips a little bit and that's because the roof like cuts into the top of the wall so you can put things up this high but they're probably gonna clip but I don't think it looks weird. I think it looks fine. Um, and I think that it's worth it for the aesthetics of the build. Um, there is two or three things that I changed uh, before I took the screenshots. Uh, one of them being that there is one of those new little shelves. It's a stack of books in the entryway. And I forgot to put something on top of them. And it looked a little weird. So I did put the new like little plant with the candle on it. Uh, and you'll see that in the screenshots but not in the build. And then there are two places in this house where out um, exterior plants cut into the walls inside. Uh, so if you notice those while I'm building, please rest assured that I saw it before I took the screenshots and it's fixed in the uploaded version and in the screenshots. So I know it's going to drive some people crazy in the actual footage, but I did fix it. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Uh, here we are just kind of laying out what's going on and I found a wallpaper that I wanted to use in the kids room so I put that up there and now now we are working in the little entry thing I think after we put these last few things on the wall um and sorry I had to yawn again that's so annoying I'm so sorry uh there is a lot of open shelves and clutter in this kitchen and I think that it is so homey I really fit, feel like this home is just so cozy and welcoming and like if you lived here you would want to just be here all the time and I do think that the sims that live here are a little introverted uh, and homebodies and maybe they would prefer you know being home with a book or watching you know a documentary together or something than they would being out uh, I do think that they have friends and they hang out with them outside of the house sometimes but I think for the most part they they just like being home with all of their books and their stuff so, <laughs> so this is the frustrating part of the build and you will notice this is a continuing issue throughout this build these these modular pieces are worse than the modular pieces from dream home decorator and that's saying something these do not clip properly. They clip to each other when they're nowhere near each other. They disappear every time you load back into the lot. Most of them are gone. I've had to replace these bookshelves four or five times and it's incredibly frustrating and I kept replacing them because I was cluttering them and then I had to replace them when I took the screenshots and then I had to replace them um, when I was trying to figure out something else in the build and I wanted them back so I could look at them. And they disappear in all the rooms I put them in, but especially the living room. And it was so frustrating. They're just so impossible. I really wish that there was some way they could fix it. So the way that they're arranged right now is not the way they look in the screenshots or the upload. Because I couldn't get them exactly, like each piece exactly where they were 
when they got removed because I couldn't remember what went where. So they look a little bit different, but the, the shapes are still the same. Like, it's still the same U-shaped around this window. It's just some of the pieces are in different spots because they kept disappearing. And it's so frustrating. That glitch and then the glitch where when you load back in the terrain paint has gone, those two glitches are the... <laughs> The biggest things of The Sims that I want fixed. I don't want cars. I don't want horses. I just want these issues fixed. Because it's so frustrating to do all this terrain paint or struggle to place all these bookshelves only for it to disappear before you can even upload the video. So if you don't do it all in one go, if you have to like exit to like go get a sim to take screenshots or come back to the build another day, it's going to be gone. They're going to be gone. They're not going to be there. And I'm working right now on building a high school. Yeah, I've never done a community lot on this channel. I've never really done community lots at all. Um, but I got inspired to do a boarding school high school situation on the high school lot. So I've been working on that a lot. Um, it's going to be another week or two, probably two weeks before it's up because it's a big lot. And uh, I'm trying to do little builds on the side so that I'm not just focusing on this giant lot because it's taking forever. Um, and I want to use these bookshelves because they're so pretty, but I just, I don't think I'm going to use them in that build, anywhere in that build. Not in the dorms, not in the gym, or the, I'm not, why would I use them in the gym, or anywhere in the actual school. As pretty as they are, and as great as they would be for, like, anywhere in that build, they just are so broken, and I don't want to work on them, work on the build with those things, and then come back to the build and it be gone. And I have to replace them again and again and again. So I'm just not going to use them in that build. I love these bookshelves. I think that they are a beautiful idea. I think that they are stunning and amazing. And I think the swatches are good. I love the different swatches of the same wood but with different book colors. And I really think that it was a beautiful idea. Um, but it's just so frustrating that they don't work. But I'll quit being negative because they are still amazing and I am still thrilled to have them and I'm thankful for the Sims team for giving us this. Um, but it is a little frustrating that it doesn't work, but I'm so sorry that I just sat there and complained for so long. Um, you guys are the people that I talk to about frustrating Sim stuff. <laughs> so, well, you know, I just had to talk to you about it. Let me know your opinions on it down below. I'd love to hear about um, if you have the same struggles with it um, and what you, what you feel. Um, so, uh, the other thing about this house is that there is food bowls and I wanted to put a litter box down, but I, I, I can't remember if I did. I wanted there to be a cat, but I can't remember if I put a litter box down. If I did, it's on the back porch, but I think I forgot. I really think I forgot and I already uploaded this to the gallery at the time of recording this voiceover. So, yeah, <laughs> if there's not a litter box, you can add one or you can just have dogs. Um, there is food bowls though. Um, so you can have some kind of animals in this house. This is the laundry space. I think it turned out so, so cute. And I loved that this back door is right here. Um, and we get the washer dryer, some clutter, and then we get a chair and we put the hampers in here because while it doesn't make sense in real life to have the hampers by the, the living room, cause you'd have to take your clothes from the bathroom or your room and put them there. It's easier in The Sims for them to be by the washer dryer. So I try to always put them by the washer dryer because it's so much easier um, when you're actually playing the game to do that. Um, so let me know, do you do the same thing? Do you, is that what you do for The Sims? Where do you put your hampers in real life? Uh, we don't have a washer dryer in our apartment, so we just put our clothes in the like dirty clothes. We have like a built-in cabinet in our bathroom and the bottom part opens up to where you put dirty clothes. So that's where we put ours. Um, but where do you put your hamper? Do you have a hamper by your washer dryer or in your bathroom or in your room? I'm really curious. I feel like it's also like a regional thing. Like maybe different countries and different areas of the United States, like everyone does it differently possibly. Um, let me know. I, I'm really curious to know that. Uh, so here's the entryway. We just get some clutter on the walls and a mirror. And a bench and then we get some of the big cabinets that you put stuff in and one of those uh, shelves from you want to say equal lifestyle with like the blankets and laundry on it and stuff uh, I think it looks really pretty here I'm trying to fit something here and I don't think 
<laughs> I think I forgot to go back and actually put something right there, but that's okay. So here's where we get the dog bowls and a little plant, and then we get those shelves. I start to put them on this wall, and then I remembered the leash shelf from Cats and Dogs, and I thought that that would look really pretty with some treats on it. So we do keep one of the books, and it goes on the opposite wall. Um, like in this little, yeah, right there. And I do forget to put something on it, but I remember later. <laughs> So it does have a little plant with a candle on top of it, and I think that it looks really cute. We're getting some treats, and I can't remember what order I go in. I think I add a little bit more in here. Yeah, we have these treats here. I feel like they love their dog. Maybe they have two dogs. I feel like they have a dog and a cat, but I think I forgot a litter box. So maybe they don't. We're going to find out together. <laughs> So this is the first of the two bathrooms. This is the downstairs bathroom and I do show both bathrooms on camera I think but I probably could have edited out the second one. I never think about that. I know that most people edit out um, the bathrooms when they're really similar and I feel like I could have done that. I feel like I could have cut out the second bathroom and that would have made the video a little bit shorter. Note to self, cut out bathrooms. You don't need all the bathrooms in a video. But I know that sometimes I like to see everything. Um, in a video I don't know what is your opinion on that should you cut out the second video the second bathroom oh I just jumped out of my skin <laughs> I stopped recording to readjust and as I was doing that my phone fell and it scared the crap out of me <laughs> and I jumped really hard so now we're moving on to the office um, and I just figured that this is just their their space like the mom's space um, she just has her desk in here maybe she does like maybe she's the head librarian or like the manager librarian or something so maybe she sits here and she works from home sometimes where she orders books and things that they need and schedules events um, and maybe maybe she works from home sometimes we get the library cart in here which I really wanted to put in this build because I thought maybe like they bought new library carts for the library so they were getting rid of these ones and so she took one home and now she has it in her office and then we get the stack of books that's on the suitcase in here also which I think looks I think looks really beautiful and then we get here and here over here we get some uh, clutter up on these shelves and some paintings we get a little bit of clutter on the desk and yeah that's the that's the office space I think it's really pretty and it turned out really nice here's the little book clutter I love this book clutter um, I think it's very beautiful and a candle and do we get a plant we get some more candles do we get a plant maybe we don't get a plant and we get a chair in the corner with a little tray next to it that I figured they have their tea and read their book and they're just nice and cozy and I think that it would be so nice. And then we get a coffee cup, which I think looks really cute. I want to know what you guys think about the possible horse leak. I haven't heard anything else about it in a couple days. So I don't know if it was a real leak or not. I feel like it didn't leak the way other things leak about The Sims. So maybe it's not actually real. Um, well, let me know. Would you want horses in The Sims? I wouldn't mind... I guess I wouldn't mind it if it came with um, in an expansion pack with like a lot of build out items also because I am a builder like I love gameplay also I play it in my own time and sometimes on stream but I'm a builder I really prefer build by items in packs so if it had some good build by stuff I think that I would um, want it myself but I want I would be okay with it for y'all <laughs> because not every pack has to be in my taste or something that I want um, I want it because I want y'all to have it because I know a lot of people really want them and that it's important to other people so uh, as long as it's something that someone wants I think that it's good I think that it's usable and helpful and a good idea uh, not everything has to be my taste and not everything has to be something that I want as long as it makes other people happy and it's something that they you know someone wants then I think that it's worth it I think that the pack is is a good idea I do miss stuff packs though 
Oh man, I miss stuff packs. Paranormal, they went out with a bang on stuff packs. Maybe that's why they quit making them. Because they wanted to make kits and then the last stuff pack was so good. They were like, well, we can't top this as a stuff pack. So we might as well just quit making them. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, here I am cluttering up these shelves. I feel like I could have cut some of this out. I did cut it out in the living room. So I feel like I could have cut it out here. But for some reason I did not. Uh, I think we had a mirror and maybe a painting up here. I really cannot remember for the life of me. Maybe more of the, yep, I put those everywhere, but I didn't put any, any pictures on them. But uh, if you play in this house, you could put your family pictures on them, and I think it'd be really cute. We get a rug and a couple plants, and that's it for this room. And then I think we're moving on upstairs. Um, I feel, yeah. And then I did put light switches down. I don't remember when I did it. I think I did it off camera. But I do put light switches down in all the rooms because realism. That's another thing I would really love added to base game is electrical sockets. Um, they could be totally unusable just like the light switches, but just for aesthetic purposes. Um, I know that people use tool to rotate around that one item, I think from kids room, that's a nightlight. They rotate it around because it has a plug on the back. And I know that they, people do that. Um, but it would be nice to have them kind of like how we have light switches now. I think it'd be really nice to have the light sockets. Light sockets? Electrical sockets. What do you call them? I want to know what you call the burners on a stove. You know, the things that you cook on. What you call a shopping basket or um, at the store. Like the ones you push. I call them carts or baskets. And then I want to know what you call... What is the other thing I wanted to know what you call? Oh, what do you call the elastic hair ties that you use for your hair? Um, I just call them hair ties, I think. Um, or hair bands sometimes, but usually hair ties. And then what do you call sodas or Cokes or Pops? I call them Cokes. And all of those things I call what they, what I called them. So I call them burners, carts, or baskets, hair ties, and cokes. And I live in the south. I live in Texas. Um, Texas is a big place, so I feel fine telling you that. Plus, I'm pretty open about it on Twitter. Um, yeah, I live in Texas, and that's what I call everything. So let me know uh, what you call everything. You don't have to let me know where you live. Just let me know what you call it. Um, I'm really interested to know. I think it's really interesting when we all call these things different things. Like, I know some people in other southern states that call burners the eye. Call them eyes. Which I don't understand. <laughs> but, you know, everyone has their own things. I call them burners. Um, and, yeah, I would love to know. I think it's so interesting to learn that about people. Uh, so here we are in the mother's room. It's kind of like a light color scheme um, and kind of like works really well with the colors downstairs. Um, I liked using this shelf in all the different rooms. Like this is the color of it that I used in all of the main rooms because I think it matches the siding, not the siding, the paneling on this wallpaper that we're using. And I thought that that was really beautiful um, to like bring those together. Here we are adding a whole bunch of books up here into the shelves in the mom's room. Uh, we get stacks and stacks of books. We get another stack on the nightstand and plenty of stacks in here. And we get some stuff on the walls. And I do move the door over and I didn't notice that the door like was in the spot of these things on the wall. So before I take the screenshots, I also move that um, because I moved the door over so that the shelf in the hallway had a better spot. So I did move that and you'll notice that in the screenshots as well. Um, and yeah, so I think that the mom's room looks really good. I think that it's really cute and works really well with this build. And I hope that you like the mom's room because I think it's really beautiful. And I think that it would be so cozy for her um, and that she would really love it. My husband is almost home, so I'm very tempted to leave the rest of this video with uh, music only and I think I might do that so um, if you would like to download this build you can find it on the gallery under my ID which is Auden Row and that will be in the com in the description down below and feel free to join my discord um, check me out on Twitch and Twitter and my Instagram is also there but I don't really post on that 
Um, and yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this build. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and enjoy the rest of this build. I think that the teens, the kids room came out really, really beautiful and really cozy. And I think that they are really going to love it. And then outside we just get some landscaping and a picnic bench and a swing. And that's really about it. So there's not really how much to say anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and go. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Have a great weekend. Bye friends.